so let's get started first of all add a static body 2d to your main scene this is going to be the parent of our terrain we can rename this to terrain and as the child of this terrain you have to add the following nodes path 2d line 2d polygon 2d and finally collision polygon 2d we're going to use the path 2d node to define the shape of our terrain so let's do a basic one and then i'm going to smooth the curves once we have defined this shape we can go ahead and add a script to this terrain node in the script in the ready function we are going to create a variable called curve which is going to be equals to the curve of path 2d and then we're going to define another variable called polygon and this is going to be equal to the baked points of the curve of path 2d then we're going to assign the polygon of polygon 2d to this variable so that when we run the game it will automatically be of this shape and we're going to do the same thing with the line 2d but as line 2d does not have a polygon property we're going to use its points property and we're going to set it equals to the polygon finally we are going to set the polygon of the collision polygon 2d equals to the polygon and this is going to create the collision shape for our terrain and that's basically the whole thing now you can run the scene and you'll see this kind of thing i have enabled this visible collision shapes so that is why we're getting this collision shape but as you can see there are a bunch of polygons being created over here so that is not good for performance so what we can do is go into the path 2d under the curve 2d we can change this pick and travel to something of higher value like 50 and if i rerun the game you can see now the polygon count has been reduced do keep that in mind that the higher you go the less precise your collision shape will be and your path will be a little bit edgy so if i make it like this as you can see the path became edgy if you want to keep it balanced you can do it by just setting this to 20. it's precise and smooth as well now let's add textures to this terrain to add textures we are going to select the polygon 2d under texture i'm going to drag and drop the dirt texture that i have you can download these assets from h2.io i will be giving the link of this in the description you also have to set the repeat mode to enabled so that the texture will be repeated all across this terrain if i run the game now you'll see that the texture is now applied correctly let's also add the edge texture as well so we're going to use the line 2d for that and under fill we're going to drag and drop the grass.png into this texture and we're also going to set the texture mode to tile and doing so you will see your terrain something like this you can increase this width by changing this width of line 2d to something else like 30 pixels and you can also check this close button so that it will give a better result like this now let's test this terrain by adding a rigid body 2d and we're going to roll it over on this terrain let's place this over here if i play the scene you can see the ball will now roll over this and this is how you can create curved terrain in Godot.